Happy birthday, Doc Savage, November 12th. This is from uh, the recent uh, Kindle, Doc Savage's Apocalyptic Life by Philip Jose Farmer. Farmer's deceased, but somebody uh, with the rights got to, did some work. A birthday party for Doc. Now, in the first edition, which I read, 1973, a physical book, Philip Jose Farmer said plainly, Doc Savage's birthday is November 12th. And I didn't think about it again for about 50 years. And then I find there's a lot of, I'll use the word scholarship, uh, on the subject. And many of these uh, investigators consider a different date to be Doc Savage's birthday. Now, you could also say they're trolls and they're wasting everybody's time. It's a fictional character. Okay, when's Spider-Man's birthday? When's Superman's birthday? When's Batman's birthday? Etc. Well, English majors, you know, the stakes are so low. That's why they fight to the death. So, <sighs> trolls, I don't want to hear from you, but you're about the only one that would care that I say happy birthday, Doc Savage. Now, fictional character developed by Lester Dent. Um, the story of the greatest writer of the pulp era. Arguably true, but debatable. Now, almost every um, listing among Doc Savage fans was this book the Yellow Cloud as the worst Doc Savage novel. A couple hundred of them rounded off. So um, I made a list decades ago, and this was in my top five favorite Doc Savage novels. Uh, I will explain why far more briefly than the matter deserves. My father was on a plane that had presumed crashed. We were in the airport waiting for him to arrive. It was two hours late. There was enormous crowd. People were crying. My mother had purchased the Bantam paperback of this in the uh, uh, you know, the shop in the airport at that time, a paperback book, Spinner Rack. My mom didn't usually buy me Doc Savage books. But she wanted, she knew I would start reading it and it would occupy my mind and attention. And I'm, I am reading the book and it did occupy my mind and attention. But I'm also thinking about wondering what my dad would tell me you know, uh, you're the man of the house now, even though pff, I was too young for that responsibility. So I'm thinking about my uh, life without dad. I will have maybe drop out of school, get a job. I'm barely a teenager. I already have a job, got a newspaper out. I finish the book and they announce the plane is landing. There was an enormous storm. I don't think I mentioned that, big storm. They flew around the storm and their radio was out. Now this is back in the 60s and 
I think this uh, Bantam book might have been published in 1970, which most people don't know how to read a calendar. That's 10 of the 60s. Um, anyway, Dad landed, a little shook up, all of them were. Said it felt like uh, two hours in a stagecoach over a ruddy road. <sighs> so I can't possibly judge the yellow cloud by conventional standards. My emotions are tied up with one of the more emotional events of my life. So I like it and I can talk a lot more about it. Uh, this is the only Doc Savage written by a woman. And uh, there are some indications that, uh, yeah, I mean, she talks more about appearance than in any other Doc Savage. So Dent had uh, provided her an outline, but it was her text and it was published as she wrote it, just editorial changes. So, Doc Savage, I learned his birthday as November 12th. So, I was 73 when I read uh, Farmer's first edition. And uh, very good. I mean, that, that. So, I go on and I grow up and I get married. And. My first wife, I've been married twice, my first wife's birthday was November 12th. And she laughed and said, you're just marrying me because I got the same birthday as Doc Savage. And uh, later she said that scornfully, but she was lighthearted every year when we'd have her birthday party. And she'd say, and happy birthday, Doc Savage. So... Doc Savage was, um, I think the shadow sold more, but um, I don't know. I don't know the numbers. Maybe Doc Savage sold more. This is back in the 1930s when they were originally published. I enjoyed them. Great pulp fiction. I think I've talked about this elsewhere. My grandmother, my paternal grandmother, my father's mother, I actually knew Lester Dent and his wife, Norma. They met in Ponca City, Oklahoma, when Dent was a telegrapher at the time. And um, well, as is argued by many, he was the greatest writer of the pulp era. And he outlined the yellow cloud and I don't think Dent would have cared when you said Doc's birthday was, but uh, he did write a birthday party for Doc. And it was November 12th, 13 or 14. Philip Jose Farmer had thought it was the 12th. And that's what I anchored on. And uh, I don't want to get involved in the dispute over Doc's birthday. But uh, I do wish all his fans well and uh, happy reading.